Welcome to DIYEasyCrafts.com. Today we're going to take a look at how to put together a drive-on floating dock using jet dock cubes. This particular project is for a Carolina skiff. I have a, a J16 Carolina skiff. I found a bunch of jet dock cubes for sale at a decent price. Uh, we went over and just towed them home. Uh, jet dock cubes go together with these deck pins. Um, each cube has tabs that come off in the corners and each one of those corners is marked with dots one two three and four dots they correspond to the order that these tabs have to go in so the number one dot, uh, tab has to go on top uh, two next to that or below that three next below that and four has to go on the bottom we use one of the jet dot uh, spanner tools in order to, to rotate that deck pin an eighth of a turn and then pull it out so when you're putting these things together, you have to make sure that those tabs go in the right order. For the external um, tabs, you can use a different type of pin, uh, but sometimes you have to use a little persuasion to get these things lined up. I use this little tool that I made. It just had a PVC, inch and a quarter on one side, and I think it was an uh, inch and a half on the other. You can use it as kind of as a crowbar to line up the holes and the tabs perfectly so that when you put that deck pin in place, give it a good stomp so it completely seats, insert the uh, jet dock spanner tool and rotate it an eighth of a turn and that locks everything together. Now these nut and bolt pins can be used on any external uh, or outside diameter areas, any area that you can get at underneath uh, and put a nut. Jet dock makes a, uh, a ratchet and a nut holder for these. It's not rocket science. The middle pins, the deck pins, there's no way to get a nut underneath them. They're solid all around. The first time I put the dock together, I did it with four cubes um, wide, which gave me about a half a cube on each side to, war uh, to walk on. It certainly had enough buoyancy to hold the boat, but it was a little bit dicey getting the boat up on there. Um, I ended up modifying it a little bit. I went with a total of five cubes in width. At the very end, I put three half cubes, um, and I put two full cubes on the outside of the end in order to funnel the boat into um, the position, into the, the square position. And you'll see in a minute. So now, when I bring the boat into the dock, I just put it in gear and it kind of squares itself up right onto the dock. Then I give it a little bit of juice and slowly motor right up onto the, onto the cubes. Now jet dock, you know, makes a, um, a crank on system for these things that, you know, almost like a, uh, a trailer crank, trailer, um, pulley crank. And you can actually modify those so that it would also crank the boat off. Um, I don't need anything like that with it, with this little skiff. It's it's such a lightweight skiff. It's very easy to uh, push back in the water once it's uh, once it's up on the cubes. The next video, I'm going to show you a very uh, neat way how we mounted this onto an existing floating dock. I hope you like this video. It's kind of an overview of the jet dock uh, system. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I ask that you please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this YouTube channel. By all means, check us out on the web at DIYEasyCrafts.com. I've got a bunch of Carolina Skiff and Nautical-related do-it-yourself projects on there. Thank you very much for watching.